next is SOI. Yeah. Uh, these are the type of filmfare which I told you. There are there are two subtypes in, in those filmfare. Uh, one is SOI, one is SOI, and other is uh, bulk. Okay, so this is bulk. This is a bulk film pack and this is SOI film pack. As you can see in a bulk, uh, silicon is go grown from the substrate till the fin. Whereas in SOI, uh, there is a substrate at the bottom, then on top of it, there is an insulator and then there is a fin. Now, why to put an insulator in between a substrate and a fin? We know uh, in CMOS as well. He had grown a uh, structure like a bulk. It was a bulk CMOS. But with the along with the fin fit, we got a new concept of SOI. That is putting an insulator in between. The picture that we had seen, this is a bulk one. This is a bulk, uh, bulk fin fit. In this, the substrate is continued till the source and drain. That is, uh, till the fin. But if it would have been an SOI, this region would have been cut down. That is, uh, no connection from source and drain to this substrate. Now, why do why do we do this arrangement of insulator in between to cut down the source to drain directly talking without the without the gate. Now in this, this is a continued substrate. So the source has a liberty to talk to drain through this substrate that is from the bottom of the gate where the gate control is very weak and gate could not stop this direct uh, communication between source and drain. So by introducing a new technology called SOI we have cut down this leakage or this subthreshold current that is flowing from source to the drain. So this is a uh, this is a good technology. The SOI is a good technology over the bulk. Although uh, Intel form their pin with the bulk technology only, and they don't opt for this. SOI technology because of uh, there are various reasons for going for the bulk so that's it that's how we end up with uh, this discussion the basic concepts of the FinFET uh, let me tell you one thing as as you have come over here uh, searching for the FinFET I know you must have searched for uh, search in Google for FinFET simulators uh, and you must have and you all must have land up with seeing some software with 1 lakh, 2 lakh or 5 lakh or even sometimes if it is 3D software for simulation FinFET simulation it costs around 10 lakh and above there is no free software there are no crack versions available with those software so how to simulate the FinFET devices and the circuits uh, circuits will be coming later on but talking about the device simulation of the FinFET okay, first let me tell you uh, what are the types two different types of simulation one that we have is uh, circuit simulations and there is another named uh, device simulations so how, how these two are different from each other there is uh, there is very small difference um, and very obvious uh, differentiation between these two uh, in this circuit simulation your device file is already there with you and you don't make a device that is uh, if, if my device is giving drive current of uh, 10 
then it will give a drag current of 10. You can't change that. But here talking about device simulation, you, you do simulation on the device, a single transistor. You change the characteristic of the transistor. In circuit simulation, you made the circuit and see for input output characteristics and so on. So I'll be telling you the simulator for this device simulation. There is one simulator which does this device simulation for free. Yes, you are the right. Uh, there is one simulator which does the simulation, device simulation for the FinFET double gate FinFET devices for free of course. So I'll be teaching you this software and how to simulate your device in my next tutorial. So don't forget to watch my next tutorial on FinFET device simulation. Till then, bye. See ya.